Hey, I'm Ted with Forno, and I'd like to show you how to make an Epi Baguette using the Forno 2.0. Make a batch of baguette dough and get ready to form it in two stages. The first forming involves an envelope fold. Fold each end of the bread dough in and pinch the seams closed. Allow each loaf to rest with the seam side down. To elongate the shape, Pat each of those loaves down and fold them long ways, pinching the seam as you go. Again, these loaves should rest with the seam side down. After at least half an hour of bench rest, transfer a loaf to the tray that comes with the Forno 2.0. Use a pair of scissors to make deep and shallow cuts into the baguette. Fold the sections of epi to alternating sides to create the unique shape. Adjust the sections of epi to fit on the tray as needed. Here it is again from a slightly different angle and sped up a little bit. After all of the sections of epi are cut and the loaf is arranged on the tray the way you want it, make sure to cut the first lobe a little bit to make a score mark. The Forno 2.0 comes with a handle that allows you to put the tray into the preheated Forno without touching anything hot. The same handle can be used to close the front hatch of the Forno and trap the steam from the baking bread. After 10 minutes of cooking, Remove the hatch from the front of the Forno, releasing the steam. Here's how the bread looks at this point. We'll bake another 5 to 10 minutes to get the crust of the bread even darker. And here's the finished loaf. The aluminum tray and the silicone mat moderate the heat on the bottom of the loaf, allowing you to get a darker crust on top without burning the bottom. We hope that you'll enjoy making epi baguettes and other great shaped breads with your Forno 2.0. Thanks for watching.